Kelly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at the all-new 2025 Rockwood Geo Pro 20 FKS. Is this the correct model for you, you may ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to three people, has a weight of 4,200 pounds, has an overall length of 21 feet 2 inches, a height of 10 feet 2 inches, and features one slide. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so new features for 2025. There's a couple new. You might have noticed on the exterior we have double axle now. So that's going to be a big game changer for this model. You're going to have a higher carrying capacity and just a more stable feel overall inside. But starting with this, this is the new Power Pro feature by World Friendship. Um, this is a really cool feature. You can just say, hey, Power Pro. What's my battery level? Your battery level is good. You can ask PowerPro all kinds of different things, such as what are my battery levels? What are my tanks at? Turn the lights up, turn them down. So that's a cool feature. You don't need any Wi-Fi, any extra power. That's all just 12 volt powered and it's just going off voice command. So that's kind of a cool, fun feature. Um, if you have little kids, they might have a, too much fun with that, but that's kind of cool. So right here we have a um, refrigerator power switch. Rockwood does this in all the Geo Pros, which I like. So if you are off grid and you're not trying to use your refrigerator because you are really trying to conserve that power, this uh, function right here will just allow you to control that completely. No power getting to the refrigerator. Don't have to worry about that kicking on on you. Above this, we have our 30 amp solar controller. This is the one that they've been using, Go Power version. They're using that in everything right now, so that's still the same, works as it, it does. That's going to regulate the voltage coming in from the panel. Down here, we have our converter. So that's where all your fuses and your breakers are going to be located. If we flip this down, you can see that there. On the side here, we have a little step light, which is not something you really notice during the daytime, but at night is a really nice feature. Then we have our um, GFCI outlet here. This is going to be for our outside outlets and the kitchen outlets, so the ones you see popped up right there. That's where you're going to reset that, and then the bathroom ones will be tied to this as well. We have our oven with our nice little night light feature there, top switch there, and the bottom switch is going to be oven light. Now. One thing they've added, not necessarily to 25, they did this in 24, but these have a thermal couple in them now. So if somebody accidentally just bumps that, it's not going to emit gas anymore. It has to sense flame before it'll push out the gas. So that's kind of nice. And then our oven's going to be the same size as they were before. One thing to notice about Rockwood as a whole, they use, they match all their appliances. So the oven, the microwave, the refrigerator, those are all going to be magic stuff. It's just, it's not a huge thing, but it is nice to have one matching, um, but also a name brand that you're familiar with. Now, obviously this has a huge kitchen area, tons of counter space in here for this 21 foot travel trailer. We've got some overhead storage here, which is nice. And then some nice drawer space down here, microwave located down here. One thing too, I like that they put the microwave on the bottom. Um, because the vertically challenged people struggle when it's high up in the air, um, like in fifth wheels and travel trailers. Sometimes it's way over your head and you don't want to be getting out hot food um, out of that when it's up in the air like that. So down there, it's not something you really think about, but it is convenient that it is low there. And then like I mentioned, we have these nice um, outlets here that just pop up and when you don't want them, they can shrink back down there like so. We also have a nice front window so you get a nice view. They put magnets on here so when you pull this down, you can just simply push it to there and it'll stay, which we like. Otherwise, it would let the light in and around and then you have those blinds all throughout, which are nice. A lot of brands are doing that now. Um, and then we have frameless windows which we'll go over on the outside. Those just look really nice and they're tinted dark so you can't see inside. Lighten a fan over top here of our range hood there, which is nice, and then a knife block. That's what they do here that nobody else does, which we like. We have our 12-volt refrigerator, and again, this is a Magic Chef. 
Moving past the refrigerator here, this is all a slide, which you probably can't really tell besides this part, but this whole thing moves. This is a nice size couch, so you would be able to sleep an adult there, which is a plus if need be. We also have an additional bunk bed located up there. So I know we said it sleeps three in here, but you could really sleep four, maybe even five if you wanted to. Um, and that bunk is a full size bunk as well. So, well, not a full, but a twin size bunk, but a full length. And this is also a full 60 by 80 queen. Um, there's not too many models that GeoPro has with a full size queen. I think there's two or three. This happens to be one of them. I really like that about this one. So if you've got somebody tall, they can still sleep there. Big drawer located under there. And then underneath of this on the exterior, which we'll show you, is outside storage. That's why there's no flip up or anything in here. And then USB 110 um, outlets located here. These two are furnace ducts. So our furnace ducts are going to come out of there. And then our air conditioning comes out of the ceiling located right there and then we also have our thermostat located here that's the new colon mock air excel thermostat which we have a different video showing you how to use that if need be and then this is the bunk bed here and those are on nice shocks um, so they kind of handle the weight for you so as you can tell it is full length um, but more designed for a, a child than an adult just because it's kind of narrow you can just push that up like so to get it out of the way. Now our bathroom has a full size shower, which is nice. Now the Geo Pros are kind of shorter, so you're not going to get as much height in something like this, but they put a large uh, skylight in there. So you do get that added eight inches of headroom if you need it. Um, my husband definitely needs that room. And if you're six foot tall, you could still stand in there, even six foot two. So um, we also have a max fan in the bathroom here. That's going to have five functions. Those are a really nice feature if you're off grid as they don't draw a lot of power, but they do move a lot of air. And then this is going to be a porcelain or a ceramic toilet. I think they're porcelain, but I can't remember. So don't quote me on that, but it is solid. It's not going to be the plastic style that you get in the cheaper models. So that's definitely a plus. And then this table here, I think we've shown it to you in a few other models, um, but this is a really nice feature. So you don't have to fold up and hide the table anymore. It doesn't take up any of your storage, but all that does is slide on there. As you can see, I just loosened that nut. This can come right off of here. So you can get it out of the way if that's not something you want. And you just tighten it down if you do. And then it also has adjustments here so you can swivel and then here as well. So you can pop this up so you can make it taller. You can turn it, you can use it in any position it needs to be. So a lot of functionality with that. It's not just, it doesn't just look cool. You can use it in a lot of different ways. So we like that. So let's go outside. Okay, so starting here in the front, we have our Solar on the side in this nice outside uh, refrigerator located here as well. This refrigerator is going to be 12 volts, so you can use this if you're off grid without using too much power. Another um, manual rocker switch right here for that so you can kill it on the power aspect if you're trying to conserve the energy. Key to like all the way around. Rockwood's like that on all models, but Super nice to have the key to like feature. You're not carrying around a pocket full of keys anymore. Just one key does the door, does all your storage. And not everybody's gonna have the key that fits your storage. Those are gonna be specific to your model. So that's a plus. Coming down here, we have our um, new Lippert uh, drop, drop stabilizers. These are nice on this model for the fact that you don't have the bulkiness of the scissor jacks hanging down. Um, as it is an off-road model, you're going to want to be able to get that ground clearance there. Looking underneath, we also have our spare tire. That does hang down a little low, so if you are going to off-road it, you might want to move that. Next to that, which hides, you can't really tell, but you can see our um, sewer hose holder there. These units don't have rear bumpers to store them in, so it's really nice that they give you that. keeps the mess kind of contained. I mentioned our double axle when I was inside, um, but as you can see, the new 2025, they've gone to two axles. 
I don't know of any known problems with the single axle. We have sold multiples, haven't had any problems. I think it's just more about being able to carry more carrying capacity. So that's pl a plus. And these are the rubber torsion Dexter axles. They tow like nothing else. This is a super nice axle on this setup. You put this behind a half ton truck and you won't even know it's there. Now moving to two axles, it did add an additional I think 400 pounds. I think this unit is just over 4,000 pounds now. It is 4,200 pounds. I believe the last one was 3,800. So it did add a little bit of weight, but definitely more stability and just definitely better for, for having two axles than one. Moving over here, we have dual LP um, disconnects. This comes with a flat top griddle. Um, and it's a suburban brand with a lodge top, so high quality cast iron now, not the cheapy either, which we really like. And then if you pull this out, we have our dual burner here, which is nice. So you can run that and you can run the flat top at the same time. And you've got dual propane ports underneath there for that, which is handy. And then just some storage area, and they do include an additional outlet there, which is nice. That's one thing I've mentioned a lot of times, but Rockwood never will short you on the um, outlets. Anywhere they can put one, they always do. So that's nice. Now back here, we have our under bed storage, like I mentioned inside. The reason you can't lift it up, you get this big storage area, which there is quite a bit of storage on this model for how small the trailer really is. And also it being a front kitchen that usually eliminates limits your storage um it does on this model but they still give you this big back bed area which we like right here we have outside kitchen a quick or outside shower with a quick disconnect here so that hose is going to come with it just pops on there gives you hot and cold water on demand outside which we like and then black tank flush here um just remember don't get this confused with your city water connection there's only one place for that water to come out and it's out the toilet and it's never pretty. So always pay attention when you're hooking up that water, you don't get the wrong hook up there. We also have a hitch on the back. This is a nice feature. If you wanna carry a generator, if you wanna carry some firewood, you can throw a little cargo on there, cargo capacity, great. Or you can put a bike rack on there. It's kind of dual purpose. You can put whatever you want, but they're tied right into the frame. So they'll be able to take some weight, which we like. Moving around here, you're gonna have our 30 amp hookup. So that's where your power connection is. I really like when they put this on the rear off door side because that's typically where your power outlets are on site. Um, so you're not running that power cord forever if you don't need to. Then we have our city water connection here, which is where you will hook the hose up if you wanna use the hose pressure and keep it hooked up while you're camping. Then we have our fresh water fill here. So if you want to fill the onboard tank, you're going to put your hose in there, turn it on until the water comes out, fill up that tank. Then we have in antifreeze inlet. Um, we'll do a different video on that. It's still August. We're not thinking about winteriza winterization yet. Um, but when we do, we will show you how to do that. Pop that off. There's a pump inside. All you got to do is turn that valve. You can keep the antifreeze outside to keep the mess contained outside, which is another thing we like. Then we have our six gallon gas electric. This is going to be both switches located inside on that PowerPro monitor panel that will have um, both of those switches located there. So always make sure you have water in this before you turn them on. Then our furnace exhaust is located here. We're making sure we don't put anything in front of this when the furnace is on, you will definitely melt and burn some things, which we've all seen, it's always bad. Below here, we have our um, sewer hookup. So when it's time to, to dump, if you're on full hookup, great. You can keep that going while you're camping. If you're not, when you're done camping, you pack up, you hit the dump station on your way out. That's where you'll dump. And there is two dumps on this. Um, that's something that not everybody loves because you've got to take the time to do both. However, it is so nice to have two gray tanks. The gray tank space is what everybody runs out of. So the kitchen on this one is going to have its own gray tank. And then the bathroom on this one has its own gray tank. So a lot of gray tank space, which we like. I think it's 39 gallons in total. So that's nice. And then coming around here, we have 
just in a little storage area. Again, Rockwood doesn't short you, so anywhere they can put the storage, they will, just like they will with the outlets, which is nice. And then right here we have our docking lights. So that cool little V light you see on the front there, that's where the switch is for that. Now, Rockwood always puts a dual battery box on, which we like too, because a lot of people who are using a GeoPro are not always hooked up to power, so you have room for that additional storage in there. That's made for two Group 24 deep cycles. Obviously now as lithium grows, those are built in the same size boxes, so you can fit 200 amp hour batteries in there if you get the right ones, which we like. And then two uh, 20 pounders here. So the only thing that's gas now on these is gonna be your cooktop, your oven, your exterior cooktop, and that quick disconnect hookup for the flat top, and then your furnace. So all those things are just an add-on. None of them besides your furnace are really a necessity. So gas will last quite a while. Oh, and then also your water heater, which doesn't burn hardly any gas at all. And then underneath our propane tanks, we also have our battery disconnect. Rockwood hides that, which I like for the weather aspect. It keeps it out of the sun, keeps it out of the rain, um, but you have to know what you're looking for and where to find it. It's the same on all models. I haven't seen them do anything different, but it's located right up under here and you can feel that if you reach with your hand. We'll show you a picture there, but that's that. So. That's going to end us here with this new 2025 20FKS Rockwood Geo Pro. If you've got questions, please let us know. We're happy to help. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe so you can see more content like it. We've got new videos coming out um, often a couple times a week. So thanks for watching.